Well, hello, gorgeous one. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. Today, I'm doing a dupes video, and this one is gonna be a tad different because it is all eyeshadows. It's all about the eyeshadows today, and the reason why is because, I don't know, I was just thinking, you know, I got some eyeshadows to sh share with y'all. Ain't that good enough? All right, talk to you in a minute. All right, so let's talk dupes. Now, um, this is all um, eyeshadows, like I said, mainly because I have not really, I don't think I've shown a lot of eyeshadow dupes, and I don't really think about dupes when I buy my eyeshadows, to be quite honest. And I just started kind of noticing, hey, these are kind of similar. Well, hey, what about this? Well, go ahead. And so with that, I wanted to share some that I found, some were are pretty much to say don't buy that because that don't don't you do that and then just to say hey in case you have this you might not need this all right so let's get started <laughs> sorry i had an itch we're going to talk about some individual ones because these are the ones that actually started me thinking about it this is the one that started me thinking about dupes and this is the mark jacobs sequins now i heard about this and i heard oh my god this is just so awesome this is so awesome and i went in the store and i um i went and tried it out and then i got it home and then i immediately said girl why did you buy this because you have stuff like this and so then i started going through my little stuff because i don't buy a lot of things like this but I started looking around. I said, no, you have some stuff that's like this. And so then what did I immediately see? I saw this right here, which is my NYX Glitter Goals right here. This is this liquid glitter stuff, okay? And then I said, uh, Wayne, you have Super Shocks. And Super Shocks are basically these type of things also. And so the one I came up with is Whittle, which is right here. So I'm going to put up this vi uh, little video right here. See, I'm trying to be all extra now. Got a little video for you all. At the top is the um, the, the Marc Jacobs. And that, right below it is the um, NYX and then the ColourPop. And no, the colors are not the same, exact same. So no, they're not an exact color match. But look at the finishes of them. They both have that super sparkly vibe, you know, make you feel like, yes, these are awesome and everything. So that's why I said, okay and it was like immediate i swear to you as soon as i got this home i really thought about it i was like okay so you just spent 26 dollars on this i think it was i know it's mark jacobs so it was expensive and i had these and both of these together were about half price a little bit more than half price i know it was half price because i only i only buy super shots when they don't sell so i only paid like four five dollars for them matter of fact i got them buy one get one free so I pay half price. Don't play with me. All right. So now I'm going to show you this because I don't have these, but I luckily I swatched this and then I swatched this, which is the hourglass, whatever these are called, uh, you know, whatever they're called. Anyway, I swatched them and I, I chose to that day to buy the sequins, but then I got home and I was like, wait a minute before you go do it. And then I was still thinking about ordering from Beautylish. I was like, oh, I really want them. And then I thought about it and I had been wanting these and I had just got them. And I said, hold up, is this not this? So the difference is these are the, the J-Cat Beauty Prism Metals. The one by Hourglass is a little more creamier where that's more, more a little drier, a little more sequiny. Whereas this is very much so just like the hourglass ones and they've been making them forever. And so they're very creamy. You get a great color out of them and they are like $5.99. You get them on sale. They have them at Ulta. They don't have all the colors at Ulta because they actually have about 20 of them. But look at the sheen on that. And that's like the one the hourglass is. Hourglass is more about a sheen on the, lid, on the lids boom and i'm just saying that honestly you if you are looking at those things hit ColourPop first because or jcat beauty because they have such a, a deep um 
range of colors and shades that you can get that if you are looking to and about to spend 20 something dollars on them you might want to check ColourPop because ColourPop and jcat beauty you know really do those type of things really well just putting it out there just putting it out there all right now here's another one that really got me started on this thought process was this right here well, no, I'm going to show you these first, and then I'll get to that one. All right, so let me start going through the ones now. This is ones is that I've actually done a video on, so I'm not really going to talk about this, but this is the Naked Cherry and the, and the Rimmel Magnifies in the Crimson Edition. These are very much a dupe for each other. Now, the thing is, is that Rimmel actually came out with theirs first, so it wasn't like they duped it. It just so happens that, you know, these are colors that were very popular and they came out with the same thing. Wouldn't it be funny if we found out that Rimmel had a spy in their, in their camp? <laughs> but anyway, they're very much the same. Um, I actually like the Rimmel from, from a certain standpoint because it's a little more cherry, has a little more vibrancy. But I do have a dedicated video on these, so I will leave that in the description box if you, would like, if you didn't see it and you would like to see the comparison all together. Boom, there we have it. All right, next up is this. Speaking of Rimmel, this is the Smashbox Ultraviolet right here. Really beautiful purple one. I know the Smashbox cover shots get, you know, a little grief, but I actually like them. And this is one that I do like. But if you do not want to spend this much money and you want a few more colors, you can go with the Rimmel. This is their Ultraviolet. The violet edition. I always want to call it ultraviolet. This is the ultraviolet. This is violet. Now, of course, you can see a few um, things a little different in each one. Like this one has this green. This one has this, um, you know, cherry, more cherry colors in it. But and when you really look at them, you could come up with certain similar um, com combinations and everything with it. And actually, you can do a little more with the Rimmel. Now, and if you really want to get technical, you can get the Rimmel, this, and the Crimson for less than this. And you would even have those cherry colors in it. I'm just saying. So there you have it. So if you so you could do you could buy two Rimmels and dupe two things. You know, you could have all kind of duping going on. I'm just saying, you know, it, I, that is that it is what it is. Next up are these. This is the Urban Decay Petite Heat right here. Now, a lot of people did not want this. Um, I wound up getting it only because it was half price. I did not pay full price for it. Was thoroughly disappointed in the colors because quite a few of them are pretty much what was in the original Naked Heat, which I like. Now, however, I found this dupe for it. This is the Maybelline Matte Bar. Now, I'm going to show it to you, of course. Um, because they are very similar and, and I do like them and I, and for me, the dark mattes are stunning and the light ones are buildable, but the dark mattes really are the ones that I love. So when you look at it, this has more shades in it. This has less. They're both matte. Honestly, I think the, the Maybelline matte bar is a better look than that one, the petite heat. So if you are looking for something like this, this the, the matte bar is actually, I think, better than the petite heat because you're only getting six here, whereas you're getting 10 on this one. And yes, they have a little crazy little way they've done them, but who cares? I know people be like, but the, the shadows aren't the same. They're not equal. I, I can't deal with them. Okay. Okay. Well, now I've, I've, I've talked about that for you, so you can get that up ahead. All right. Next up is this one, because this is one that was one of the ones that was like, whoa, hey, these are very similar. And it's not the whole palettes so let me say this this is of course the desi and katie frankation this is the color festival by ColourPop. now before i get started let me just give y'all a mini review of this one it's not the greatest palette i'm not a big huge fan of it it's okay it's not as good as the weekend festival last year you remember i love the weekend festival this is okay i think the colors i have it on right now the colors are not as and you know pigmented and true and you got to build them up so there is not that great however this is what i'm talking about the dupes for 
when it comes down to it, one of the things that everybody talks about in the Friendcation palette, because let's just be honest, it is a neutral pal with, pop palette with a few pops of color, right? So these were the ones that everybody talked about, like, oh my God, these are just awesome. They're just beautiful. They're just beautiful. And then I got this right here. And then I looked, I said, ain't these basically the same things? So if you look right here on this area, you will see that it has very similar colors right there, right? I am going to put a little video right here of me with the swatches and the 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 uh, BH is on the outside, on the left side, and the Dose of Colors is on the right, and you will see that they are very similar. I mean, the colors are strikingly almost the same on each of these palettes, those in particular. So if you were attracted to this palette based on those colors, you can just go on and get this. Now, this always goes on sale, so it'll, you know, this actually always goes on sale too. If you don't feel like if you don't feel like even paying the half price, which is about $27.50, get this on sale. You'll pay like $12 for it, and you will get those particular shades that you were looking for. Now I just noticed this one. These last two I just noticed. So let me just talk about them. Now I fell in love with this palette. This is the Tart, as you can tell, because this is very tartish. This is the Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette, right here. Now I have to be careful because it's a little, it's a little. She's a little delicate, but she's gorgeous, right? Love her. She is so cute. And then it occurred to me, whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't you have something that looks like this? And you know who, you know who it was? ColourPop. ColourPop does some good stuff. Now let me say this. I think this came out before. The Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. But of course, these colors are, you know, very universally flattering, very, you know, popular because these are neutral, berry tones. If, if you look at the Give It To Me Straight, they look very much alike. So this is the Give It To Me Straight, and this is the F Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. And when you look at them, you can see how very tonally they are. No, they are not exact duplicates of each other, but if you don't want to, because Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust was limited edition you can get give it to me straight and get similar eye looks from it so though this is a great dupe for that now here's my final dupe now i want y'all to just just roll with me i don't want to hear no words i don't want to hear anything i don't want y'all to be like what so this is one of the most popular palettes of 2019 that i'm about to talk about and i know y'all gonna be like what but what okay here it is, The Born to Run by Urban Decay. Now you're gonna look at mine and say, yours looks very pristine. That's because I really haven't used it yet because I got it recently on sale because I really wasn't like dying to get it. I'm one of those contrary people. If people are like, oh my God, oh my God. And it's, and it's a regular brand, I'll be like, yeah, all right, whatever. But anyway, I got it for half price. So I finally bought it. There it is. I do think it's beautiful. I know everybody's like, this is the best that Urban Decay has done in a long time. And then I started looking, I said, but I got color wait a minute, whoa, 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 where can we go with this? Now, work with me here, work with me here. The first one I'm gonna show you, cause I have two palettes. Combined, they really, really take over this one. This one does a lot though. This is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs, okay? So I'm going to show it to you and we're going to talk about it and we're going to see some things that are similar. So if you look in it, you will see a lot of similarities, especially in the orange tones in that area in, the, you know, a little the green, the deep greens. Now, the one thing, of course, it has different is that it has that that deep that like bright green right there, but it has the berries in it. It has quite a few the 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 neutral tones. It has a lot of what you need that's in this palette here now of course this is a much easier palette to travel with they made it like that so you know if that's what you're looking for but you know this is a very close to do now if you feel like um but i'm still not seeing the deeper colors i'm not seeing these grayish colors this deep greens and everything that i'm loving right here well then you can just bust out and get the regular zodiac and then you can add that in right 
you can add that in. And then we're going to bust this one out. Ugh. And I'm going to show you those. And then you will see the deeper colors right in there. And you have all of the shades that you want. And between the two, you can have all the shades. Now, of course, if you buy these regular price, it will be about the same amount. Or maybe a little bit more because this is these two together regular price are 54 i think this one is 48 or 49 49. now let me say this who pays full price for bh i know i don't this is always on sale right now as i am filming this um the love signs is 30 50 percent off so it's like 13.50 and the regular zodiac is like $18. So all together you could get both of them for like $32 as opposed to just a 49. You wind up with a whole lot more shadows and could use them. Now, what is the dip, the the upside to this one? It's a much smaller palette, which means that you can, you know, travel with it, put it in your bag, you know, with all that other good stuff. But if you just want the the color scheme, you could have this and have 48 shades as opposed to that for this for less than it. So that is it on my dupes. I'm pretty proud of myself. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what do you think of my dupes. Do you have any of these products? What do you think? Um, and you know, have you tried any of the, of course, the Super Shots, the J-Cat Metals? Let me know what you all think about some of these products that I mentioned. All right. As always, it's your Lulu. Be bold. Be brave. Be fearless. Be free. Talk to you later.